We continue to see these live pictures of President Trump and Prime Minister Shinzo Abe now walking towards uh, that summit venue at the moment. How crucial are these talks for both sides? Yeah, it's going to be high stakes talks for sure. Sherry, as you mentioned here, because this is coming off of a meeting that President Xi had with Shinzo Abe just the night before, where they displayed a bit of more of a cozier relationship and talking about how they want to develop more free trade. Uh, Shinzo Abe inviting President Xi to Japan in the spring, potentially, to, to go see the cherry blossoms. So we've seen this thawing of relations here uh, between China and Japan and potentially has been partly driven by the fact that the U.S. and China are are at the middle of these trade discussions and, and, and trade tensions here at the moment. So whether we actually do see a FTA is going to be a key question, as you mentioned, after the U.S. dropped out of TPP. Uh, the, the Japanese were felt with a, a dilemma here of what to do next. Should they actually engage in these bilateral discussions with the U.S.? They were pretty hesitant at first, but they finally did agree to meet earlier this year. But we didn't get to see any kind of comprehensive agreement, but perhaps we can see something that could come out here at G20. Yeah, Yvonne, uh, of course, uh, President Xi and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe did uh, have a bilateral of their own uh, last night, in fact. And, uh, yeah, as you described, uh, it was a rather positive meeting and generally warm relations between the two countries. So how's that going to change the dynamic uh, with the, between Japan and the U.S. as they count down to their own trade discussions? Yeah, I'm sure President Trump it, it, was wa we're watching those pictures that we saw yesterday, those handshakes that we saw. It's been made into the front page of a lot of newspapers here in Japan as well about uh, this relationship. But it's also potentially a sign that perhaps we could see a positive vibes heading into these trade negotiations between President Xi and President Trump here, that perhaps we could get some type of de-escalation or at least a trade truce here. Uh, a lot of questions about how what was entitled what's going to be entailed in this sort of trade deal are currencies going to be a big factor as well as as we've known president trump has criticized countries like china like europe recently like japan for weakening their currencies in order to boost their own economies here perhaps a sign that president trump is is favoring some type of weaker dollar policy but that has been a key question here and what comes out a lot of questions whether we we'll get a consensus here as well given the bilateral divisions we've seen uh, since president trump came to power so whether we get that communique is also a key question.